At this time, to honor this great country and those who have served, would you please rise if you're able and remove your hats for the playing of our national anthem by the Tipkin Valley Guard under the direction of Miss Janelle Reiner. Good evening once again, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Tupacan Valley High School and Rita Price Simpson Court for a nice varsity game featuring the Rochester Zebras and our Tupacan Valley Vikings. At this time, I'd like to introduce the starting lineup. First of all, for our guests, the Zebras of Rochester High School. Starting at guard, a six-foot sophomore, number 24, Carson Pollock. Starting guard, 5 foot 8 inch junior, number 2, Drew Bowers. Starting in forward, 6 foot 2 inch junior, number 11, Tanner Reinhardt. Starting in forward, 6 foot junior, number 20, Owen Prater. And at the third forward position, a 6 foot 1 inch junior, number 23, Bryce Bogger. The Zebras are coached by Rob Malco and assisted by Luke Smith and Rex Reinald. <laughs> Players of the Week this week for the middle school, 6th grade, Riker Engstrand and Brogan Francis. 7th grade, Noah Kirkenauer and Ryan Thiessen. Coach Luce as uh, Valley Vikings will break the huddle. 
Again, it is Polly, Reinerts, Bogger, Trader, and Bowers for Rochester. Akasi and Bogger will jump. Zebra set up and obviously uh, anticipating uh, uh, Akasi getting this tip. And he does, and it goes to Shepard. Shepard gets it off to Cohen. Davis Cohen will run the point. He'll go right side to Akasi. Kasi back up to Johnson, top of the key. Johnson has it now down in the corner. Here's Shepard, three ball on the way, good. Didn't look like he's missed much, Val. Three-pointer for Shepard right away in the corner. Well, the other thing we heard is he had a great summer before he got hurt. So. Yeah. Prater with the basketball, pressure on him, and Bogger comes away with it. Bogger has it now top of the key. Now they get it off to Bowers. Bowers left side, 30 seconds gone by, 3 nothing Tibby Valley. It's Prater into the corner. He's going to be guarded by Cooksey. Gets it up top to Bogger, who's now guarded by Akasi. Cowan's going to be really tested tonight defending Drew Bowers. Now here's Tanner. He's guarded by Shepard. They get it into Bowers. Running floater gets it to roll. 3-2 to two on the Jimmy's Insurance scoreboard. Quickly downs to New Valley. Akasi, top of the key. Akasi holds. Now he'll bring it to Cohen on the near side. Rochester in a 2-3 zone. Brings it back over to Cooksey. Here's three for Shepard again. Two for two for Riley Shepard. He's making up for lost time pretty quick here. 6-2 our score. That was just easy range from about 23 feet. Here's Pollock with a basketball to Tanner Reinerts. Reinerts now gets it off to Bogger. Bogger top of the key. Now they're going to go to Prater left side. Owen Prater with the basketball. Prater guarded by Cooksey. Goes off to Bogger. Bogger guarded by Acacia. Back up top. Go to the left side. Here is three on the way for Bowers. Way off the mark. Akasi with a rebound. Akasi will give it off to Cohen. 6.15 to go here in the opening quarter. 6-2, to two, Valley. Into the corner. That's Cooksey with the basketball. Now to Cohen. Cohen will back it back out to the volleyball line and reset the offense. He'll go right side to Cooksey. Now back up top to Cohen. Cohen has it. Again, Zebra's in that 2-3. Akasi outside along with Cooksey. Here's the alley-oop, too hard, off the backboard, and Bowers has it. Bowers, coast to coast, head fakes, falls down, and travels. Right idea, but just slipped as he uh, felt the thunder coming from behind him. And the Zebras won a 30-second timeout with 5.49 to go here in the opening quarter. They trail 6-2 to two here on Giant FM. Slipped on his way to the basket. Just kind of slowing things down. Coach Malco calls a timeout and regroup the troops. Now they switch up to a man. They go around. Here's Bogger with the basketball and the steal. Bogger against Akasi. Head fakes. Goes up. Short. And Akasi knocks it out of bounds. It'll stay with Rochester underneath their own basket. Sure looked like Rochester switched up to a man down here. Yeah, they definitely made out some of the timeout. adjustments. You know, Bryce had the right idea there against a guy like Akasi. You want to go into him. You can't go, try to flow to one over him. And we're going to get a foul on Tibbetts New Valley. It's going to be on Ian Cooksey. It's going to be his first team first of the quarter. So with 5:33 to go here in the opening quarter, six to two, still our score. Zebras the inbound underneath their own basket. I'm a little surprised they put Cooksey on Prater. I thought they put Cowan on Prater. Yeah. Reinerts for three, short. He gets knocked down. No call. Valley with a rebound. Quickly ahead. Here comes Tibbetts New Valley. Quickly down the floor. That's Cook, or Cohen. Cohen with it. Now over to Shepard. Back over to Cohen. Right side. Down in the corner. Three ball on the way for Cooksey. Off the mark. No good. Rebound fought for. Akasi comes away with it. He goes up off the glass and good. Steven Akasi. Steven has his first two of the night. And it's 8-2 to two, Tippy Valley. Here's Bogger. Bogger down at the other end. Now here's... Carson Pollock straight away three short and it falls into the hands of Cohen that shot was rushed Valley off and running and Johnson with the basketball he gets it knocked loose picked up by Bogger Bogger quickly ahead to Reinerts back to Bogger top of the key to Pollock left side set this time three on the way no good Shepard with a rebound here comes the Valley Vikings and Cohen with the basketball Cohen to left side leaves it for Cooksey Cooksey, one dribble, picks up the basketball, now back to Cohen. They try to go back door to Akasi, and then the time didn't work. And Cooksey with it now, down to Akasi in the paint. Goes to Johnson, out to Shepard. Three is missed this time, but a quick rebound by Valley, and the pass down to Johnson, and it's 10-2. to 
Nice pass by Cooksey after the, he got an, grabbed an offensive rebound in Bally. The last two buckets have been off offensive rebounds, and that's not a good sign for Rochester on no. the board so far. Kasi knocking the ball loose, fighting for it on the far side, and it's going to be out of bounds on Akasi as it rolls off his foot. And the Zebras will maintain it on the far side. Sheets will come in, and sitting down will be Shepard. That's Blaine Sheets. Zebras looking to inbounds. Also in for Rochester uh, was uh, Dylan Hook for Pollock. Rochester gets a little more size in there, but sacrifices a little bit of shooting, but Pollock had missed his first two. Here is Rochester with the basketball. Tanner Reinert's three straight away is off the mark, no good. And the rebound is to Akasi as he's falling out of the bounce. He throws it off a hook, and it'll be out of bounds now to uh, Tippecanoe Valley. Tippecanoe Valley leads 10-2 to two here in this first quarter. Rochester back in the zone. Yep. Cohen with the basketball now. Cohen has it back up top over to Johnson. Johnson uh, goes down low to Sheets, and he's going to be fouled by Dylan Hook. That's Dylan's first, team's first of the quarter. So it'll be out of bounds now, too. Yeah, you don't want to be too physical with Sheets. He's not a he's not a big-time scorer. You want to make see if he can score. I know Sheets has yeah. been coming on offensively, but still he's not a big. He's not one of their big-time scorers. He's looking to pass, probably. Cooksey with the basketball. Now goes over to Cohen. Cohen. Back to Cooksey. They go down low to Johnson. Johnson kicks it back out. Looking to go down low. They can't get it. Cooksey, left wing on the way. Three is good. And Cooksey for three. And it's 13-2 to two with three minutes to go here in this first quarter. Nice little pass fake by Cowan. Here's Prater with the basketball. Prater. And it tries to go to Tanner Reinertz. And Tanner cuts to the basket. And the pass was behind him. Another turnover on Rochester. 2.50 to go here in the first quarter. 13-2, to two, Rochester trails. Here's Cooks, or excuse me, Cohen with it. Cohen, left side now to Cooksey. They go down to Akasi. Down low. Akasi, a little jump hook. No good. And a rebound comes away to Bowers. Bowers with the basketball. Quickly ahead to Prater. Prater is going to be fouled. It'll be 2 on Cooksey. And that's 2. And 2 for the quarter. As we still have two and a half minutes to go here in the opening quarter. Zebras look to inbound. And then Bowers gets it into Hook. Hook goes up, blocked by Akasi, and it goes out of bounds as Hook falls down. It'll stay with Rochester underneath their own basket. Just a disastrous start for Rochester. I mean, they haven't... They needed a rebound well. They haven't done that. And they needed Valley to be a little sloppy, and that hasn't happened. They get it out top. Prater with the basketball. Prater goes to the hole. Head fakes. Spin move. Turns around. Throws it up and good. Owen Prater gets his first two of the night. 13-4. to four. They go quickly down low to Akasi. He loses it. He has to go fetch it in the far corner. Akasi. And then is going to be fouled by Prater. And that's going to be Prater's first. Team second. Riley Shepard will come back in, and sitting down will be Cooksey. 2.09 to go in the opening quarter on the Jennings Insurance Scoreboard. Tipping Valley 13-4. to I don't expect Coach Luce to play more than seven tonight. Yeah. Uh, and that's even with Shepard. Yeah. Cossie's pass is deflected, picked back up by Valley. Here's a Cossie for three on the way, way off the mark, but Shepard, nope. They're going to wave it off. They're going to call a offensive foul. They'd be on. Yep, they're going to call it on Sheets. Sheets is going to be called for That's his first foul. Five, Sheets, his first team and the third. team third. Well, that was a tough shot by Owen Prater on the other end. I don't know yeah. how he got that to go. I don't know. Like he turned over the wrong shoulder and then floated one in over Akasi. Here's Bowers with the basketball. Bowers against Cohen. Bowers drives the lane. Pull up jumper. Off the mark. No good. Shepard with a rebound. Stolen by Reinerts. Reinerts has it. Back to Prater. Prater to Bogger. Bogger now in the corner to Bowers. Right side. Now they get it to uh, Tanner Reinerts. Back to Bowers. Up top to Bogger. Now Tanner takes it top to key to hook on the left wing. Dylan with the basketball. We'll bring it back up to Bowers. Bowers guarded by Shepard. Takes him to the hole. Backs out. Now he'll throw it up top to 
Tanner. Good, good defense by Shepard. Bogger for three. Off the mark. No good. Rebound fought for. Johnson comes away with it. Here comes Cohen. Quickly ahead to Shepard. Shepard falls down. Loses the basketball. Picked up by Bogger. And a foul coming on Cohen as he fouls Bogger after he gets the pass. Davis Cowan, his first team. Davis Cowan picks up his first team fourth with a minute four to go here in the first quarter. Randy and Val here on Giant FM. Not a bad foul there by Cowan. That would have prevented a fast break on the yeah. other end. Get it in the backcourt to Bowers. Cowan, Cowan's got a lot of responsibility defensively tonight to stay in front of Drew Bowers. Dylan well, sets he, a screen. If he gets, plays well defensively, Valley will have a good night. And Bowers loses it. Sheets picks it up. That was a sloppiness. Under a minute to go, and it looks like Valley's going to look for the final shot here as they slow things down. Cohen goes off to Shepard on the far side. Now Akasi back up here to, uh, right in front of us. Kind of a 3-2 zone. Akasi holds. Now goes over to Cohen. Shepard kind of the middle middle floater there as uh, they're, again, just running some clock. Down to 25 seconds. And Akasi. Coach Luce calls out what he wants and when he wants it. Akasi holds it with 18. Here comes the Zebras. They look to trap. They get it to Sheets. Sheets turns around, or Johnson turns around and throws it to Shepard, who was in the corner, and he threw it to the block, yeah, and it goes out of bounds. That might be a little bit of lack of chemistry with the yeah. kid just coming back from injury. Uh, Valley going to put a full court press on with 12.7 seconds. Johnson expected yeah. Riley Shepard to be there, and if he was there, it probably would have been a layup. Uh, Cross court pass to Bowers. Bowers goes to the hole. They leave it for Hook. Hook with six. Goes up and no shot. They're going to call it on the floor as Hook was fouled. And that's going to be on Sheets. That's his second. But that will go to Dylan Hook to the free throw line now for his first opportunity. Dylan Hook at the line shooting two. Dylan Hook at the free throw line. Coach Luce not happy with his kids there. That's Hook misses the first one. Especially with Rochester in the bonus. Dylan Hook on the season, shooting 5 of 14, make it 5 of 15. Second one on the way. That one's good. Hook will get a points, and Prater will come out. Pollock comes in with 6.2 seconds to go. Rochester with two fouls to give. Zebras will go man press. Akasi to inbound. Full court press. They get it to Cooksey. Cooksey will get it across the timeline with three. Cooksey has it stolen by Reinerts. Reinerts at the buzzer. Off the mark. And that'll do it for the first quarter. Tipkina Valley 13, Rochester 5 on the Jennings Insurance scoreboard. Back with the second quarter after this. China second Finn. quarter with the basketball, trailing 13 to 5. There's Bowers with the inbounds pass. Bowers now double team. He's got to get rid of it. Does to Bogger. Bogger down low to Hook. And Hook is going to be fouled before he travels. And that's going to be on Hamilton. On DeAndre Hamilton into the contest at the quarter break, and he picks up his first foul, team first. Prater will come back in as well here and replace Pollock. DeAndre Hamilton's a guy who really had a nice summer. He was mostly, Coach Luce kind of thought he was maybe kind of a JV guy, but he's just really impressed, and he's, he's become a full-time varsity player. Well, he actually saw, saw some JV time, but he had a lot more varsity minutes than was in, earlier envisioned. The inbounds comes around the corner, shot up, no good. Hook with the rebound, back up, no good. And Hamilton gets the rebound. Well, again, Dylan Hook's such a good athlete, but he's just a little raw basketball-wise. Cohen, his pass is to Johnson. It goes through his hands, and it'll be out of bounds to Rochester. Coach Luce not happy. He's trying to get some energy built back up here, and he puts the full-court press on here in the second quarter. Turnover number seven for Valley, just three for Rochester, but who's who's winning the game by eight yeah. points? It's Valley. Zebras break it easy. Here's Reinerts with step away three. They're up just two inside the three-point line. It's good for Tanner Reinerts, and it's 13-7. to seven. Here's Cohen. Cohen with the basketball. Now to Akasi. Akasi has it. Comes to the near side. Now to Cooksey. Cooksey will dribble back towards the middle, give it off to Cohen. Cohen back to Cooksey, looking to get it to Akasi. Now they go to Hamilton on the far corner. Hamilton into Johnson. Johnson trips, and they're going to say he's pushed. And that's going to be on Drew Bowers, his first team first of the quarter. Sheets and Shepard back into the lineup, and it is a 60-second timeout, tipping the Valley here from Valley High School. 
13-7 on the Jennings Insurance scoreboard. Uh, they've gotten decent shots, but they haven't gotten great shots yet. So we'll see how that evolves as, in terms of how they run their offense. They inbound it to Shepard from the corner. Three ball on the way. Short rebound comes away to Prater. Prater quickly ahead. Nice rebound in traffic Here's by Prater. Bogger with the basketball. Bogger. Just stepped out of bounds. Just lost he his did. footing and stepped out of bounds. Did step out of bounds, so it'll be... Back to Tipping New Valley, another Rochester turnover. And that was a set play that Coach Luce called it on the timeout to get an open corner three. As we get back here to action, Cooksey with the basketball now. Cooksey has it. Back to Cooksey. Left wing. They go down low to Akasi. Yeah, shot up, up, and no good. And a foul coming against Rochester. And it's going to be whistled against Dylan Hook. It's going to be his second team, first, second of. Second team second. That was a second nice pass by Sheets. Two. Just put just enough air under it and fed Akasi right at the basket. Akasi's first free throw gets it to fall in. Akasi has one more. He's got three points on the end of the evening. You can tell Akasi spent some time in the weight room since last year as well. And he's not going to... Free throw is good by Akasi. He makes them both. He's got four points. And again, he's still only a sophomore. 15-7, and they're going to call Prater with a turnover. And that will bring Jonas Kaiser into the contest. Kaiser will come in. And sitting down will be Dylan Hook. Two turnovers this quarter for Rochester, and they just handed handed the ball to Valley. Just yeah, I mean no, Valley's defense had nothing to do with it. Those were just unforced errors. And let's see if Cooksey just can atone here defensively. Cohen with the basketball now. Cohen to Akasi. Akasi goes around the screen. Cohen again the lob to Akasi has to adjust. Goes gets it and goes back up and good. back to a 10-point lead. Here quickly down is Rochester. Here's Kaiser for three. Off the mark, no good. And Cohen with a quick rebound. Quickly down, three for Shepard, and he nails it again. Eileen Shepard's got nine all on three-pointers, and it's 20-7. Rochester misses a three from the corner. Valley and Shepard just pours in a 23-footer. Yeah. Stolen by Shepard. Traders down. And quickly down, and Tanner Reinertz is going to pick up a foul. Prater gets up. He's slow to get up, but he's walking off. And Rochester foul number 11, Tanner Reinertz. That is on Tanner Reinertz. It's going to be his first, team third. Well, Coach Luce has to be happy that they've kept Owen Prater in check. I mean, Owen scored 21 last Friday, and he has been, he had that tough shot in the first quarter, but he has been a non-factor so far. Sheets' first free throw is good. It's 21 to 7. Oh, they'll have another one. Sheets' second one is missed, and Akasi with the rebound. Akasi backs his way in, goes back up, and good. Akasi with two more, and it's 23-7. to And quickly down the floor is Rochester, and it's stolen by Sheets. Sheets will give it up to Cooksey. Three on the way for him, no good. Prater with a quick rebound. Rochester got Quickly ahead to Bowers. Bowers, right-hand layup up and good. Drew Bowers has four, and it's 23 to 9. Again, just the new way Rochester's playing this year, looking ahead, trying to run a lot more this year. We can probably have to do that down by 14. Yeah, here's a shot by Shepard off the mark, no good. Tanner Reinhardt with a rebound, quickly ahead to Prater. Prater, one hand catches it, now kicks it back out to Prater, or to Reinhardt. Reinhardt's foot was on the line, it's a two, no good. And Akasi with the rebound, and Valley wants a 30-second timeout. 4.33 to go here in the second quarter. 23-9, Timmy Valley leads with a second timeout by Valley. Uh, him at less than 100% still a pretty good player, but he's not 100%. All right, after the 30-second timeout, it's Cohen with the basketball. Cohen goes to Akasi, right wing. Akasi 
Pointing to where he wants uh, Hamilton. Hamilton gets the basketball now. Now he'll give it up to Cooksey. Top the key. Down low to Akasi. Goes to work against Reinerts. Akasi kicks it back out to Cohen. Cohen looking, trying to go to Shepard down low. They can't get it to him. They go to Akasi. It's tipped by Rochester and stolen. Good defense by Bowers. Here's Bowers. Or excuse me, that's Prater up against Akasi and another uh, blocked shot and a rebound for Akasi. Again, you have to go into his chest. If you try and f- flip one over him, he's going to block it. Cooksey with it. Now here is Akasi. Fakes it, goes to the hole, and he's going to be fouled. He'll go to the free throw line to shoot two. And that one's going to be whistled on Reiner. It's his second All right, just team on fourth. It's his second team fourth. So Akasi will go back to the free throw line where he was two for two. Now, Coach Malco in a bind. What do you do with Tanner Reinerts here? That was a sweet pump fake move by Akasi. That's n- new to his repertoire. Akasi misses the first free throw. And Prater will come out and the Pollock will come in. Shepard comes out and Johnson comes back in. 3.43 to go here before halftime. Zebras trail 23-9. On the Jennings Insurance scoreboard. And Robert Bazo in. But Reiner's still out there. Free throw on the way for Akasi. His second one is good. 24-9. Cohen will put pressure on Bowers as he brings the basketball across the timeline. Gets a screen by Bogger. Back to Bowers. Now Bogger in the corner against Akasi. Bryce with it. Now off to Pollock. Now to Reinerts. Over the top, it goes to Bowers around the screen. Gives it off to Pollock. Now down in the corner to Bazo. Now it goes to Bogger. Bad pass. But Bogger adjusts and goes and gets it. Bazo will square up for three off the mark. No good. And Hamilton with a rebound. Hamilton's a very good rebounder for his size. Cooksey has it now for Timmy Valley. Back up top now to Cohen. Cohen between the rings. Gets a screen by Johnson. Goes around to Hamilton. Hamilton back to Johnson. Top the key. Johnson against Pollock. Wraps him up, and Pollock is going to get whistled for the foul. I think he just got caught up because the way it looked from here is Kyler Johnson kind of started to try to wrap him. But we're going to have shooting, and so Sheets will come in for Valley after the first free throw, and Grant Clark will come in for Rochester. Free throw on the way for Johnson is good. He's got three. Clark comes in, and Pollock will sit down. Sitting down is Hamilton for Tiffany Valley. 2.56 to go before halftime. Johnson hits the second free throw. He's got four points on the evening. 26 to 9. It's stolen. Here's Cooksey over to Cohen. Cohen with the basketball into Akasi. Akasi gives it to Johnson. He can't handle it. And it's a turnover on Tibbega Valley. Eight turnovers for Rochester, nine turnovers for Valley. Hamilton will come back in, and Cooksey will sit down with 2.45 to go here in a second. You know, Valley's built a 17-point lead. Now Coach Luce can give Cooksey a breather and with him in foul trouble. So now Bowers has it against Cohen. Meanwhile, Coach Malk is going to have to roll the dice with Reinerts here. Bowers. Around the screen, looking, gives it off to Bogger. Bogger atop, guarded by Hamilton. Gives it off to Clark, who's guarded by Johnson. Back door to Tanner Reinerts, and the foul's going to be on the floor. And that's going to be the second of the quarter. And the third for Sheets. His third, team second. And so it'll be out of bounds to Rochester. And Bowers will inbound. Sheets still in there. Bowers over the top to Reinerts, and Sheets, or excuse me, Johnson's going to be whistled for a foul. It's going to be his first, team third. And now Timmy Ennis will be a 45. Aiden Shepard. Aiden Shepard in for Sheets. Bowers with a basketball. Bowers has it. Now to Bogger. Bogger gives it up to Reinerts. Reinerts crossover. Goes to the hole. Layup. Off the mark. No good. And Johnson's last to touch it. So it'll stay with Rochester underneath their own basket. Nice job by Tanner Reinerts to keep his dribble going. That's 
That's kind of something that Tanner's kind of added to his game. Yeah. That if you just think he's going to be a spot-up shooter, well, he's more than that. Bowers in to Reinerts, three, top of the keys, good. Tanner Reinerts, three. Now with five. Two minutes to go here before halftime. Cohen with the basketball. 26-12 to 12 are scored. Tippy Valley leads. Akasi with the basketball in the far corner. Akasi now over to Shepard. Aiden Shepard with the basketball. Shepard goes down low to Akasi at the block to go to work against Reinerts. Goes around Reinerts. Reverse layup no good. Tries to go for his own rebound. Bowers is there. Quickly ahead to Bogger. Bryce. Pull up jumper. 10 footer off the front of the iron. No good. And Aiden Shepard gets the rebound. Here comes Cohen. Valley looks to run. They give it to Akasi. He's going downhill and gets the layup. Steven Akasi. Got away with the Boy, walk. when he gets going downhill, you don't want to step in front of him. He actually got away with a walk there at the start of his drive. But, yeah, exactly. He's 28-12. to 12. That's, again, his, that he can put the ball on the deck now. He's really improved at that area. Reiner at the free throw line. Forces a shot. And Johnson's going to be whistled for his second foul. Team fourth. And Tanner Reinerts now to the line to shoot two. We have seen a different Tanner Reinerts since the Logansport game. Tanner Reinerts yes. to the line. Shooting two. Reinerts to the free throw line. 28-12 with a minute nine to go here before halftime. Reinerts has five all in this quarter. Free throw is off the mark. No good. And... One more coming for Reinerts. That's another issue with, for whatever reason, Rochester always shoots free throws terribly here. Second free throw. And the game here, what, six years ago when they went, I think, one for nine from the line? I yeah. mean, that one's good. Is that the reverse Val Jinx? There you go. And now Prater back in. He'll replace oh, Tanner Reinerts. Rochester. 28 13 with 69 seconds to go. Cohen will walk it up this time. Zebras in a man. And here's Cohen. Now to Akasi and under a minute, and Valley's going to spread the floor and try to run some clock. Akasi kicks it back out to Shepard. Now they go up top to Hamilton. Hamilton guarded by Bazo. Into the corner to Shepard. Back up top to Cohen on the near side. Coach Malko's going to call for the trap. They go to Shepard. Shepard in this near corner. Shepard travels. Nope, oh, steps on the out of bounds line. That'll work. Yeah. Turnover for Rochester. I mean, obviously it's a little bit of a risk because Valley's in the bonus, but when Shepard has n- not played much varsity basketball, and if he gets the ball on the sidelines, you want to bother him a little bit. Powers with 35 seconds. We'll bring it across the timeline. Clark sets the screen, gets the ball on the outlet. Now over to Bazo. Bazo hands it off to Bogger. Bogger. And Akasi is going to be whistled for a foul, and that'll send Rochester to the line here with just 21.1 seconds to go before halftime. Bogger looking for his first points of the night. Bryce Bogger at the line. Bryce will have two free throws. Bryce needs these. If he can, because he's hit, he's missed some open shots in this game. If he can hit a couple here, get his confidence going, I think that could help him for the rest of the game. I mean, this is that first one. Two for five right now is Rochester from the free throw line in this first half. Now, Bryce had that big game against Lewis Cass in the sectional last year. I think his confidence has really picked up since then. Cooks in Shepard to come in if if Bryce makes this. The lane violation on Aiden Shepard. Yep. And now that will allow Cooks and Shepard to come in. And Shepard Shepard and Hamilton out. Or, excuse me, uh, Aiden Shepard and Hamilton out. Well, it's Christmas time. We've got multiple shepherds out there. Yeah. Free throw. Missed again by Mogger. Posse with the rebound. They got it with 15 now. And Coach Lou says, slow it down. Cohen with it to Cooksey. Cooksey trapped in the corner. He dribbles out of it. Gives it off to Johnson. Johnson throws it to Shepard. And... It's going to be off of Rochester, but that pass was a dangerous one. What a bizarre pass that was. It hit the net. Yeah. And it almost got caught up in the net. The net slowed it down. Valley fortunate to keep possession. Four seconds to go. They lob it into Akasi up off the backboard. No good. Clark with a rebound, and that's going to do it for the first half. At halftime, 28-13, Tiffany Valley leads. 
The Rochester Zebras. Um, Brant Beck, Deming, and Brady Beck are all undefeated on the season. Awesome. Valley will start with the basketball. Leading 28-13 on the Jennings Insurance scoreboard. It's Akasi with it, and he's going to be quickly fouled. And that's going to be whistled on Bryce Bogger, his first team, first of the quarter. It is back to the original 5 for Rochester. Also the original 5 for Tippy Valley. And Cohen, Cooksey, Shepard, Akasi, Johnson. Here's a steal by Reinerts. Tanner with a basketball. Down low to Pollock. Pollock. Did not square up, goes up awkward, misses a shot, and Johnson with a rebound. Yeah, again, you get the turnover and you can't take advantage yeah. of it, and Pollock has got to go in harder, especially with Cooksey there. You want to get Cooksey's in the foul trouble. Shepard has the basketball on the near side, goes down to Akasi. Akasi around Bogger, reverse layup, up and good. Akasi with two more. He's got 13 now, and it's a 30 13 lead for Timmy Valley. Cohen against. Bowers. Bowers gives it off to Prater. Prater now with the basketball near side. Back to Bowers. Top the key. Bowers will back it back out and reset the zebra offense. Bowers goes to the right side. This time to Pollock. Hands it back to Bowers. To Prater. The handoff again to Bowers. He goes downhill. Kicks it out to Bogger. Three on the way for him. In and out. No good. And Johnson with a, ba- a rebound. Great looking shot by Bogger. Shepard on the other end. The right wing. Way off the mark. And a rebound comes away to Bogger. Bogger will take it. Akasi will guard him. Now he'll give it off to Reinerts. Reinerts on the other end. He'll turn around, shoot to three off the mark. No good. And Cohen tips it to Akasi. He gets the rebound, and Valley will come the other way. Six and a half to go in the third. 30-13. Akasi gives it off now to Cooksey. Cooksey on the far side. Cooksey with the basketball. Now up to Shepard. Riley Shepard straight away three off the back of the iron. No good. Good box out by Bogger. Bogger with a great box out. Quickly ahead to Reinerts. Reinerts down low to Prater. Prater into the paint. Throws up a shot. Good. Oh, tough finish by Owen. Prater now with four. 15-point lead, 30-15. Cooksey on the other end. A fadeaway jumper on the way. No good. And Shepard is going to push Prater in the back to try to get the rebound. And that's going to be Riley Shepard's first and the first of the quarter. We have a boys basketball scoring update. Manchester leads Lewis Cass 28-20 at halftime. That's the big one in the TRC tonight. Manchester lost by 30 to Fort Wayne Blackhawk here tonight, trying to bounce back. Lewis Cass has really been slumping of late. And now we're getting a moving screen against Prater. Prater picks up his second, team second. Rochester foul at number 20, Owen Prater, his second. Winnemac leads Rossville 31-22 at halftime. That's over at Delphi okay. in the Kitchen Classic Consolation game. Yep. Winner of that game plays uh, Delphi. Loser of the game plays Pioneer. Okay. Here's Johnson with the basketball against Prater. Johnson leans into the shot, goes up, no good. Gets his own rebound, goes back up the other side, good. Tyler Johnson. Tyler Johnson's got six now. Little pressure put on in the backcourt by Valley. Bowers will bring it across. Five and a half to go here in the third. Here is Bogger with it, top the key. Bogger, free throw line now against the Kasi. Gives it down low to Prater. Prater is going to be fouled as he goes up. He'll go to the line to shoot two. Excellent pass by Bogger. Foul is going to be whistled on Cooksey. That's his third. Foul number two, Ian Cooksey, <laughs> his third. Team so Prater will go to the line. He's got four points on the night. First time at free throw line. Girls scoring up, uh, update. Western has defeated Tippecanoe Valley 63-35. to Okay. Western ranked number six in Class 3A, and they improved to 12-0. and Free throw good by Prater. Valley is 11-2. Both losses to Western. Okay. 32 16. It's over at the Carroll Tournament. Valley will play twice more tomorrow. And the second one is good by Prater as well. 32 17. Here's Cohen with the basketball for Valley. Goes to the left side, gives it off to Cooksey. Again, Zebra's in the zone. Cohen with the basketball, brings it back up top. Cohen. Goes left side now to Cooksey. Down low to Riley Shepard. Shepard's double team. Back out to Cooksey. Three ball on the way is good. Ian Cooksey for three. His second three of the night. And he's got six, and it's 35-17 Valley. Nice pass out of the post by Riley Shepard. Here is Prater with it. Top the key. Prater against Cooksey. Prater now to Bogger. Bogger guarded by Akasi. Gives it off to Prater. 
Prater then is going to be fouled by Shepard. Active shooting. Shepard will pick up his second, team third, and Owen Prater back to the free throw line. Shepard, his second, team's third. The official discussed it for a moment, whether that was active shooting yeah. or not, but they, I, I agree with them. I think he was in the act. So Prater will get two shots. He's got six points on the night. 35-17. Prater, first free throw on the way is... No good. And Dylan Hook will come in, and Pollock will sit down. So it's Reinerts, Hook, Prater, Bowers, and Bogger. Prater's got one more free throw. Here's Prater's second free throw. Good. So three for four. And it's 35-18. Here's Shepard quickly down the floor on three. Okay. Shepard for three. Barely got a chance to even uh, look up. And Shepard with a quick three. He's got 12. Here's Hook with the basketball. And out of Bowers. Bowers to Prater. Prater loses it. Shepard steals it. Shepard one-on-one against Reinhardt. Shepard up and good to foul. Shepard. Unfortunately, Tanner Reinerts tried not to foul him, and uh, they said he'd get, give him a little bump. So that'll be Reinerts' third, and Riley Shepard, his first two of the night, but he has a chance to make it a three-point play with a free throw after this timeout by the Zebras. 4.13 to go here in the third, 40-18 on the Jennings Insurance scoreboard. Back with more Giant FM. So he'll have one free throw. Nobody at the on the line for Tippy Valley. Shepard, free throw on the way, is good. He's got 15 on the night. 41-18. little pressure put on by Cohen in the backcourt. Here's Bowers with the basketball. Bowers, left side, pull-up jumper, off, the, off, off balance, just didn't look good. Shepard with a rebound. Here's Cohen with it. Quickly ahead to Cooksey. Cooksey, three on the way for him, no good. Hook with the rebound, taken away by Shepard. Shepard back up off the glass is good. That's two more for Shepard, 43-18. He has been great this quarter. I mean, he's, he's even doing things I don't think he did even before his injury. Here is Bowers. Zebras with the basketball out to Bowers. Here is Prater. Prater loses it. Cooksey coast to coast up and good. Cooksey with another two points. And it's 45-18. Prater. And we're going to wave off the shot. The foul's going to be before the shot. And it's going to be on Cooksey, his fourth. Number two, Cooksey. Team fourth. And Hamilton and Sheets will come in, and so will Wes Parker. Riley Shepard sits down. Johnson sits down. Cooksey sits down. They get it into Reinerts. Zebras have the basketball. Now they try to go down low, and it's knocked away by Akasi. And then Hamilton picks it up, and Prater fouls him. That's going to be Prater's third, team fourth. So it'll be out of bounds to Valley. Both teams will be shooting free throws the rest of the quarter with 3.01 to go. It looked like what Rochester tried to do during that last timeout is call for a high ball screen with Bogger setting the high ball screen and then have Bowers go away from the high ball screen to take Akasi out of the play. But that, um, just nothing is working for the Zebras. And we're going to have a foul. It's either on Bogger or Prater. And it's on Prater. That's his fourth. Team number five, number so that will send Akasi back to the line. Steven Akasi at the line, shooting two. He will shoot two. Akasi, first free throw on the way is no good. Prater comes out, Pollock comes back in. Marcus Pollock enters for Rochester. 2.52 to go on the Jennings Insurance scoreboard here in the third quarter, 45-18. Second free throw bounces in for Akasi. 
RTC TV4 is your go-to for keeping up with local Ernst events and Pollock sports. The basketball. As one the of the top to most Bowers. watched stations Bowers by our cable subscribers, RTC TV4 no strives good. to give you the Akasi content that you want to see. Rebound. You can catch us on TV, North our website, or, or on your phone. Just look up our RTC TV4 sports app on Valley the Google Play it. Store or the App Parker, Store, or check us out at rtc4.com to catch our live streams or browse our vast archives of productions. Since 1974, the Steve Moore Agency has proudly provided yes. comprehensive insurance major, solutions uh, throughout role, Rochester, Fulton County, and, and all of Indiana. Throws with it more into than 40 Akasi. years Akasi of service supplying the insurance the, needs of families uh, and businesses, they are a trusted Akasi. source for home with insurance, auto insurance, renter's insurance, That's and more. Whether you need to insure a car or a car dealership, they have an insurance solution for you. Call them today for all your insurance needs at 574-223-3010 or visit them on Online at SeaMoreAgency.com. To the line to shoot two. Get the inside story weekday morning on Valley FM Sports. Well, again, I, you After know, the Valley timeout. They'll have I mean, it Valley's down. Down. Rochester got to the bonus in all three Valley quarters. Back right. Cohen as she had it. Back over Free to the Bowers. Across the timeline. Right now to Parker five to goes out of bounds. Bowers. Rochester came in a one-three-one zone. I know uh, Coach uh, Reinhold was the one who did most of the talking in the Rochester huddle. As Parker. Fresh into the game for the first time Got here. Free throw for Bowers in on the varsity. The way. But, but and Coach it's Luce giving a no uh, lesson. And Akasi gets the rebound. Here is Here's Cohen with the basketball. With it. Cody, Cody 8 19 nine down Bowers the floor. Now nine rebounds it. for Stephen Akasi. Bowers. Gives Kassi. it off to Pollock. Back to Bowers. Now back to Cohen. Now to Cohen is going to be down the team. Reinhardt's face the hand off and loses the basketball. Coach Luce wants a timeout. It's a full timeout. He'll turn it back around and give it to Cohen. Two minutes exactly to go here in the third quarter. Valley leads 48-19. Back to Cohen top of the key. Dribbles in. Cohen picks up his dribble. Swings it back out to Parker. Left wing. Now to Sheets. Over the top to Cohen. Looking to the corner, trying to get it to Akasi. They can't. He'll back it back out. Just Cohen. Now they give it to Hamilton. Hamilton drives the lane. Goes to Sheets. Reverse layup up and good. Blaine Sheets. Excellent pass by Hamilton. 50-19. Bogger with the basketball. Bogger quickly ahead to Tanner. Tanner to the hole. Layup up and good. Tanner has eight. And it's 50-21. Under a minute to go. Hamilton is tied up. Now he gets it to Sheets. Somehow it makes its way through. And Sheets picks it up and up off the glass. Two more for him. Rochester gambling a little bit more defensively, but when you don't get the steal, that tends to happen. Bowers to the hole. Up and good. Drew Bowers with a nice attack to the hole. 52-23. 25 seconds to go. It's a good sign that Drew, when Drew's finishing near the rim, he just hasn't. Yeah. I'm sure he, even if you ask Drew that he hasn't done that enough or as much as he would like. Cohen with the basketball. Cohen double teamed. He dribbles out of it this time. Ten seconds to go. Cohen into the paint. Leaves it for Akase. Right hand layup. No good. Gets his own rebound. Back up and good. 54-23, and that's going to do it for the third quarter. Zebra's trail to Tipton Valley. Zebras will have it to inbound. It's going to be Bowers, Prater. The 26-point quarter for Valley. Uh, Hook, Tanner Reinertz, and Bogger on the floor for Rochester. Here's a three for Bogger. Left side, off the mark, no good. And Riley Shepard with a quick rebound. It's Cohen, Shepard, Akase, Johnson, and Cooksey in. Cooksey with a 10-foot jumper is good. He's into double digits now with 10. Reinerts quickly down the floor, 56-23. Reinerts straight away three off the mark, no good. Akase with another rebound. Number 11 for Stephen Akase on the boards. 11 rebounds, 14 points so far. Here's Cohen out of Cooksey. Cooksey left side, Cooksey playing with four fouls. Makes a pass to, to Johnson, it's stolen by Hook. Hook. Tries to go between the defenders, and it's they say Cohen last touched it, so Zebra's going to break there. It'll stay with Rochester underneath. Nice steal by Dylan Hook. That was, was a little surprising. Everybody thought Cooks was going to go up with a shot, but he didn't. He passed it off. Pollock will check back in. He will come in for Hook. For Rochester. Hook comes in. Or, excuse me, will sit down. Here is the basketball now off to... 
Prater, or excuse me, that's Bogger, and Bogger is going to dribble to the sideline and step out of bounds. Turnover, Rochester, 7.08 to go here in the fourth quarter, 56-23 on the Jennings Insurance scoreboard. You really have to rely on your fundamentals when you play a team that's this physical. Like, your your, your fundamentals even become more important. Right. Yeah. It'll be Cohen bringing the ball up. Rochester looking to go to man here. Cohen guarded by Bowers. Now to the right side. Here's Cooksey with it. Cooksey, now to Johnson. Johnson, down to Akasi. Up and good. Steven Akasi. Akasi has got 16 now. And we're in a running clock territory. 58-23. Here's Bogger with the basketball. Now off to Bowers. Bowers with it. Top the key. And again, it's good recognition by Valley. They saw Rochester was in a man. If, whenever the opponent's in a man, Valley's got to get the ball to Akasi. Prater goes up. Just kind of throws it up, hoping for contact and no call. Yeah, again, you got to rely on your fundamentals. Yeah. And they go down low to uh, Johnson, knocked away by uh, Reinerts. Quickly down is Pollock. No good. The rebound fought for. Johnson comes away with it. Again, you got to rely on your fundamentals. And 58-23, six minutes to go here in this contest. Uh, I mean, we, we've talked about the Coach Burris and the girls team, and they're not playing off two feet. And a steal by Rochester. Here's Bogger with the basketball. Bogger kicks it back out. Reinerts, three. Good for Tanner Reinerts. Tanner Reinerts for three. Reinerts now into double digits with 11. 58-26. And Riley Shepard with the basketball. Goes to Akasi, top of the key. Now that was off two feet. Yeah. Akasi now gives it off to Cooksey. Cooksey. Back to Riley Shepard, straight away three off the mark, no good. Johnson with the rebound. Johnson, spin move, goes up, up, good, over the top, the front of the rim. He's got eight, does Johnson, and it's 60-26. Coach Malco going to the bench at the next opportunity, and Johnson's going to get called for a foul. It's going to be his third, team first of the quarter. And Bazo will come in, Grant Clark will come in. And Bowers will go to the free throw line. One for two tonight so far for Drew Bowers. Well, Valley will be very competitive in the new Indiana Northern State Conference starting next year. But it was worth noting that Jimtown got a big one over Triton the other night. Triton had been undefeated. Free throw is good. I think there's obviously there's been a whole lot of talk about how good of a football conference that will be. And also in is Jonas Kaiser. But it will be a solid basketball conference as well. One more free throw coming for Bowers. Again, why is the clock stopped? I don't know. The official was over talking to him. And now Luke Malko in. 60-28. I mean, again, if you're a Valley fan, I don't <laughs> you don't mind that. Here's Cohen now with the basketball. And you're clobbering Rochester by 32 points. You want this game to go on forever. Johnson with the basketball. Johnson to Cohen. Cohen into the paint. Kicks it out to Riley Shepard. Shepard, three on the way for him is good. Riley Shepard. 24 for Shepard. 63-28. And another assist for Davis Cowan. Here is Mazzo. Out to Malco. Three on the way. For, or excuse me, that was Clark. Three on the way, no good. Last touch by Rochester. Again, they stopped the clock. I'm not. Uh, officials telling them. And Coach Malco wants a timeout. Thirty second timeout, Rochester. Their third timeout. Thirty second timeout. Just a thirty third second Clark timeout. With- and Malco on the floor for Rochester. And Coach Luce brings in some substitutions as well on Oamande. Uh, also in is Wes Parker, Hamilton in, uh, Aiden Shepard in, and Blaine Sheets in. There's a three by Wes Parker is good. And so now 66-28. Yeah, Parker got all, I mean, he's he got a lot of big time minutes earlier in the year with yeah. Shepard, Riley Shepard healthy. That's going to cost him the most. In Malco. terms of minutes, he's probably going to have to get more of his minutes on the JV, but he's a good player. Now to Clark. And now off to Pollock. Pollock to Bazo. 
Basel with the basketball. Now over to Kaiser. Down low to Clark. Up and good. Grant Clark gets his first points of the night. 66-30. Nice pass by Kaiser. Here's Shepard with it. Now to Parker. Parker top of the key for Valley. 3.35 to go here in this fourth quarter. They go into Shepard. Shepard has it knocked loose by Malco on the floor. He saves it into the hands of Hamilton. Hamilton then is double teamed. He goes back out to Parker. Parker into the lane, throws up a shot. No good. And a foul coming against the Zebras. And it's going to be whistled on Clark. I believe 32. Clark, his first team first of the quarter. So now Wes Parker will go to the free throw line for his first free throws of the varsity contest. First one is good. He's got four. 67-30. Wes Parker, a three-sport athlete. Plays football in the fall. Plays golf in the spring. He's a really good golfer. His dad, Darren, is the golf coach here. And the second free throw is good. 67-30. I would say he's an all-conference golfer, but Valley's not in the conference. <laughs> Here's Clark with it. Clark goes up against Sheet. No good. Hamilton with the rebound. He gives it off to Parker. Again, playing off two feet. Under three to go. And that goes out of bounds. Last touched by Omande. Turnover, Tibby Valley. We're going to see a lot of Owen Omandi on the football field next year. He is a very good young athlete in whatever sport he plays with some Rochester ties. Now Clark with the basketball for Rochester. Clark dribbles in, kicks it back out to Kaiser. Kaiser in the lane, kicks it out. Three on the way for Pollock. Off the mark, no good. Rebound fought for, and Valley comes away with it. Here's Parker with the basketball. Parker. Now in the corner to Aiden Shepard. Shepard fakes a three, puts it on the floor, goes up, lays it over the front of the rim, misses, gets his rebound, gets up, and misses again, and this one's going to be knocked out of bounds by Rochester. It'll stay with Tippecanoe Valley. Coming in will be Malat, 24, William Malat, a 5'7 sophomore, and Sheets will sit down. Under two to go here. Now they get it into Hamilton. Hamilton, spin move down at the block, off the glass is good. DeAndre Hamilton. DeAndre Hamilton with his first points. 70 to 30. Now here is Clark with the basketball. Clark over the top to Kaiser. Kaiser, left wing, penetrates in. He'll throw up a shot over over uh, Shepard, but Clark's going to be called for a hold underneath the basket, and that's going to be his second, team second of the quarter. Just about Grabbed a fistful of DeAndre Hamilton's. Now they run the clock. Yeah. Minute 18. 70 to 30. Again, I, I've made my thoughts known about the, the mercy rule. I, all, it does is depri- all it does is deprive JV kids a chance to. Hamilton is tied up by Malco. All the remaining possessions. Zebra basketball. 60 seconds to go and counting. Should be Valley ball. At least that's what I have. Maybe not. No, it's Rochester. Okay. Arrow down on the scoring table, says Rochester. Gets it into Kaiser now with 45 seconds to go. Kaiser on the right side. Kaiser into Clark. Clark backs down Hamilton. Hamilton blocks it from behind. Ball's loose. And Clark tries to save it. Can't do so. And it'll be out of bounds to Tipping New Valley. Good block by Hamilton. 30 seconds to go and counting. 70-30. 70-30. Malat will get it across. He gives it off to Amadi. Amadi with the basketball. Now he goes over to Malat. Malat back to Hamilton, and that's going to do it. The final tonight, 70-30. to Tiffany Valley defeats the Rochester Zebras here on this Friday before Christmas. When we come back, the post game being brought to you by Peterson, Weisberg, Perkins, the law firm built for your current and future legal needs. Again, the final on the Jennings Insurance Scoreboard, 70-30, Tibbetown Valley. Over.